Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, you just caught me brewing. Let me take you through the process. So here at Lord's Brewing, we know all about beer. And there's a detailed process involved. You know, so many people out there think it's really easy. You know, you just whack some wheat in, you give it a bit of a stir and bang out comes some beer. But it's not easy. Let me talk you through it. Come on. It's a one, two, three, four, five. It's at least a five step process. Follow me. And this is the first process. Now, what is key in any kind of beer making is a red ladder. But not just one that you lean against things, but a freestanding one. There are a lot of amateurs out there using leaning ladders. <laughs> I wouldn't touch their beer with a barge pole, okay? Now, another key point, we're working in backwards a bit here, is the brewer needs to know what that beer tastes like. So this is the brewer tasting spout. Now, the reason it's this long is because really to test beer, you need it to go instantly into the stomach. So you know like how far gras used to be made, but it's obviously banned because it's horrendous, but it doesn't matter for brewers because they don't have a gag reflex. Okay, moving on. Here we come to another key stage in the brewing making, and this is classically called the red pipe stage, okay? Now, if you use a blue pipe, you're gonna make cider. And we don't wanna make cider, we're making ale. If you use a green pipe, you're gonna make coke. So, here is this. Now, beer has to be put into the casks at super, super high speed. I believe at least Mark III. So this is the super high speed fire valve. And it fires the ale out into the barrels at the right speed, okay? Um, you probably notice if you go around a number of mattresses, that's so the brewer doesn't get bruised when he's flown backwards. And then this is the cooking stage. Um, so, Beer is a creative process, and to be creative, you need to have your creative juices energized. So what we do is we put the brewer in there, and we close the door, and we turn it up to 500 degrees. And that boils the creative juices in his brain, and then allows him to make superb, wonderful ale. He does occasionally soil himself as well. Moving on to the next one. So this is what we call our miniaturizing. So I didn't know if you know, but when ale first comes out, a pint of ale actually would only fit in a litre glass. So this miniaturizes it to the right size for a pint glass. So some people call it the pintorama, but we prefer the miniaturizer because it's kind of sci-fi and we like sci-fi. But it's a real key thing. Come in here, this is another key part to the miniaturizing. So when they first get the beer, this yellow spade, that is actually the same size as a teaspoon in comparison, right? So every one of these is shoveling in a teaspoon of ale. But once we miniaturize it, then we can use teaspoons to fill up the glasses. And that's how we get the lovely texture and foaminess on top. Come on through, come on through. <coughs> and now this bit of kit right there, this is, let me get down close, this is really important. This is the brewing robot. And um, he roboticizes everything. This, everything, it's, uh, it's really key. He's called Jeff and uh, he's a good boy. So there you go. I mean, there's a lot to brewing. There's more to it than that. 